Okay. I'm I'm just trying to make hypoechoic for you. Okay, this is polyp. A smooth border, hypoechoic, homogeneous, with a pedicle, and there's a blood vessels passing through the pedicle. So this is polyp. But I want to confirm that this is a polyp. So then, for this polyp to rule out, to rule out. Uh, Selin Sono Hysterography is done that I discussed before with the modalities. Okay, remember that uh, lecture when the Selin Sono Hysterography is done, that means they will insert the saline water through the cervix and the water will go around the polyp and it will make an aquic around it. And you will see the polyp very nicely. Okay, so now you can see the polyp. So this is an aquatic fluid. Fluid. And this is polyp. So this is polyp. You can easily see it. Now question, if it is not polyp, it is a growth, then growth has no pedicle. The growth is, has a wide base attached with the endometrium. Okay, let me tell you first the characteristics of polyp. Polyp is uh, finger like, finger like projection. into the cavity has a pedicle attached with wall uh, smooth border Homogeneous Hypoechoic and Vascularity in pedicle.
okay so now if this is a endometrial carcinoma endometrial CA then what you see number one uh, it is attached with wall with a broad base a regular wall heterogeneous may have necrosis may have calcification with shadowing and hypervascular okay so now when you're going to give the saline sono histro uh, graphy you're going to do it and you will see the water is everywhere The water will fill every corner except the tumor area. Okay, so this is most probably it is endometrial carcinoma and it will have hypervascularity okay so that's the way you can differentiate it from the endometrial hyperplasia so this carcinoma can have more can have more inside the endometrium and making it more thicker that's why we can see endometrial hyperplasia okay so this is the way you can differentiate the endometrial hyperplasia from the polyp and from the cancer and from the IUD just ask the patient ask the patient that um, uh, do you have a, uh, uh, IUD or not and IUD has a typical characteristics that can artificially make the thickness increase thickness of the endometrium okay so now I will go over little about the um, uh, cervical polyp that is also uh, very common and with that I will conclude today's lecture let me finish that part cervical polyp it's not rare, it's common too.
this is endometrium okay and this is cervical from here to there this is cervical canal and within that canal you might see a polyp it is very hard to see the pedicle inside the cervical canal but there is something there is something and this is cervical this is CX poly now how can I be confirmed then we need to do the hysteroscope so while you're going to do the hysteroscope Hysteroscope means directly visualization of the uterus and the hysteroscope will pass through the cervix. Then they will see a foreign body here and they will dilate the cervical canal definitely and they will see that it is a mass and look like a polyp and is attached with the wall and they will diagnose but thing is that when they will do the hysteroscope and they will remove it by cutting, cauterization and they will take it out. Okay, so, and they will send it for biopsy. So this cervical poly can cause a very bad effect. Why? It can totally block the cervical canal. When you it can block the cervical canal then what gonna happen the menstrual blood menstrual blood will be accumulated in the uterine cavity and part of the cervical canal during the period if you scan then you will see blood is coming through here a little 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 blood but this part is occupied with something else so then you have to understand there is a blockage in the cervix and the most common blockage is the cervical polyp do i need to click the color yes click the color see it is hypervascular or normal vascular or no vascularity okay so this is cervical polyp it can cause infertility too. It can cause infertility. Pain, pressure. Okay? We need to rule out that this is cervical polyp, not something else. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. And uh, next day, I will uh, cover Okay, today is this. I will cover the malignant uterine neoplasm and maybe I will start also with the ovarian pathology. Okay, thank you very much for paying attention and I will see you again. Okay, bye.